The Quine Health Monitor was developed by a group of five international students of the Erasmus Mundus Embedded Computing Systems program at the University of Southampton. The goal of the Equine Health Monitor is to collect different vital signs of horses and make the collected data available to the end user with a web interface. The system can be used for remote diagnose, as a research tool or to perform bioprofiling on horses. Important features of the system are scalability, portability, data storage and audio acquisition to be able to diagnose sicknesses of the digestive system. The system consists of the battery-powered monitoring device that is attached to a horse and a base station that receives data from monitoring devices, providing access over web interface. The devices communicate over a ZigBee-based wireless interface. Let's take a closer look at the monitoring device. It includes an acceleration and a temperature sensor, a GPS module, an ANT receiver to allow coupling with wireless hard straps, a digital stethoscope for gut sound monitoring, an SD card for local data storage and an XP transceiver. The core of the system is an energy micro giant gecko microcontroller which allows us to optimize the system for very low power consumption. The base station is built upon the Raspberry Pi platform and is designed to be a stationary access point to the collected data. It uses open source software to implement the web server functionality and the web interface. This video shows a demonstration of the running system and how it was optimal low power consumption. In the left frame you will see the real time current consumption of the monitoring device while it executes certain tasks. The right frame shows the console of the base station and displays how data is received and presented. The system was implemented in such a way that there is an abstraction layer for accessing the sensors with a common interface. This layer guarantees that the access is done in an energy efficient manner. The MCU wakes up from a deep sleep mode, enables the sensors and goes back to sleep. The sensor is given enough time to wake up and to take some measurements. After this time has passed, the MCU wakes up again and reads the sensor data and goes back to sleep. In this scheme, the MCU doesn't have to wait for the data to become ready, which helps to decrease the average power consumption. We can see this behavior in the power graph. This still shows the current consumption while reading data from the accelerometer, and we achieve an average power consumption of 1.64 mA. In the next state, we can see that the same scheme is applied for accessing temperature sensors. Now the data will be transmitted to the base station. The power consumption of the XP radio transmitter is around 40 mA while being active. For this reason we collect the data locally and send sensor readings in burst transmission mode to reduce the times the radio has to be woken up. The right frames that shows that the base station is receiving sensor messages and storing the data in its database. In this case we transmitted two sets of accelerometer and temperature sensor readings. The data becomes available immediately in the web interface of the base station. The energy aware profiler allowed us to analyze the power consumption of the individual peripherals in a very precise manner. This graph shows that wireless interfaces draw a large current while they are active. A lot of effort was put into optimizing the system to keep the active periods of the wireless interfaces as short as possible. This pie chart shows how the energy consumption is split between the peripherals over a long period of time. As each peripheral has its own optimized duty cycle, the power consumption is divided fairly between the peripherals. With the current system configuration, we estimate a battery runtime of 13 days with a 2000 mAh battery that we are using in our system.